Students are back at the U of A, and that means more riders on public transit, but the issue of safety remains. 13 News reporter Katherine Patterson shows us what Suntran is doing to address the problem. For several years, we've told you about the struggle that Suntran drivers and passengers alike face when it comes to safety when riding. I spoke with a couple of passengers today who said that they grow more fearful every time they step on a bus. Sherry Schaefer rides the city bus every other day. Last Saturday during her commute, she found herself calling Suntran while chaos ensued. Trying to figure out how to calm down this couple. They were very intoxicated, throwing food fights, threatening people, uh, laying on the floor even. She had her feet up on the seat <laughs> going back and forth. She wasn't the only one on the bus trying to find a solution. So we had 70% of the bus, and it was pretty full by this time, complaining to the driver to pull over, get him off, please, and begging, and he, he's not allowed to get involved. This is the policy for all drivers with Suntran. Stay in your seat and don't interfere. If they get out of their seat, then they, they're they going to be charged or they could be charged with with starting or, or not uh, de-escalating a situation. They're, they're not the captains of their ship. And even if they see somebody doing something wrong or is against the rules, they're, they're not allowed to confront that person or say anything. Many drivers say this policy is a stressful one. They're, they don't know from one day to the next if they're going to be assaulted or berated or, or, or just vented on in some way. But Suntran says it has helped in reducing the number of incidents on the bus since 2020. We use uh, employee assaults as, a, as kind of a barometer of where we are. And just to give you an example, in 21, we had 47. In 22, we had 39. And so far this year, we've only had nine assaults. They say de-escalation strategies have helped tremendously, and it's something they include heavily in their training. We train all of our new employees in de-escalation tactics. Every time there's an incident on a bus, we review the video of that incident, and then we talk with the driver about how they use, how did their tactics and strategies work, where didn't they work. But some riders don't think it's the right call. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe if they're told not to get involved. Who's there? You're, it's like being on a Tesla and it's on autopilot and it's just going to keep going. Now, public transportation is still free and will continue to be at the end of 2023. Of course, we will keep you updated on air and online at KOLD.com. Reporting in Tucson, Catherine Patterson, 13 News. Now, the death toll in 